friends good evening hope you are all safe and healthy at your place i bring you the saga of an unsung hero of indian horse racing trainer narayan singh trainer narayan singh began his training career after hanging up his boots as a jockey in the year 1955 and he continued to train until the year 1995 friends a 40 year long spectacular journey undoubtedly one of the country's most straightforward professional trainers as he was known for his simplicity honesty and straightforwardness he steered home about a uh, 100 winners before becoming a trainer in 1955 capitalizing on a break given by his highness maharaja of idar shri himmat singh ji who gave him the opportunity to train for him exclusively and privately for the royal idar family friends he was off to a flying start as a wonderfully rose de bhama got him into the limelight starting off with the Bombay City Gold Cup in the 1959-60 Mumbai season she went on to finish second in the Indian 1000 guineas but then she came out and won the Indian 2000 guineas followed by the Indian Oaks as you can see on your screens and then the final ultimate moment came when this small made filly scored a spectacular start to finish victory in the dream mega event of the indian racing calendar the indian derby of the season 1959-1960 bill rickaby who was flown down just a day ahead of the race rode a peach of a race on this filly as he judged the pace very well hit the front from the word go and kept on going to finally embrace glory in a fascinating manner rose de bama won three classics that season and totally she won nine races in her career and just gave trainer narayan singh the much wanted exposure in his racing career Windy Candy was the horse friends when he won the Kailashpat Singhania trophy you can see in the pictures Pertu Singh Shri Ramnivas Ramnarayan Ruya Mr Kailashpat Singhania and trainer Narayan Singh posing with the trophy leading in a winner here with the jockey Kim Singh in the saddle he combined very well with this rider to score a few winners which included in her in his lifetime friends he won many uh, important races in his career including sarpkala sarpkala won the agdi triumph now known as the bangalore winter derby in the hands of jockey kristi roch who sent him on a start to finish bid and once again just like the indian derby sarpkala held on showing nerves of steel to score over noble sun in the bangalore winter derby trainer narayan singh in the picture you can see him receiving his trainer's trophy for this bangalore winter derby which was won by his trained horse sarpkala who was owned by sardar Darshan Singh Guman you can see both the trainer and the owner on a victory lap here friends and Sarpkala was a really lovely horse as he went on to win six races in in his career with the icing on the cake being the Bangalore Winter Derby that time it was called the Arc de Triomphe Sarpkala was ridden by jockey Kristi Roach in the Bangalore Derby and the pace judgment of this rider was simply superb as he guided Sarpkala to a magnificent start to finish victory friends he teamed up very well with jockey Karan Singh 
as Karan Singh steered Ekta to victory in the Philly trial stakes in the Bangalore summer of 1975. Friends, Ekta was also owned by the Darshan Singh Guman and family as Ekta was ridden way off the pace she came with superb strides in the straight to finally deliver the goods in the first classic of that summer season narayan singh went on to win many races in his lifetime friends he won about 600 and about races in his lifetime and the some of the important races include this one the Kashmir Gold Cup for horses in class 1 midday sun was the horse and a stride on top for jockey M Pyaro the same horse next year went on to win the Tamil Nadu commemoration gold cup under none other than the superb rider of the Indian turf a legend in the making jockey Vasan Shinde friends midday sun was homely owned and it was owned by mrs gulab kumari his wife he teamed up very well with the saranam's friends and that was his golden era of his career when he won several races for the black and white sleeves and black cap silks prediction here in the screen you can see with jockey bud singh up was a pure sprinter but his training transformed the filly and finally she won the race club cup over 2400 meters in chennai he also won many races at uti also here you can see receiving a trophy at the uti race course one of his horses with whom he did really well was a horse called friends mal practice mal practice won five races in the madras racing season 1979 1980 this horse was owned by mr v g saranam and mr v s dhanasekar the saranam family who is very well known to the racing fraternity of this country every time the horse won it was ridden by the other jockeys all the jockeys who scored on him were richard alford Punacha Eccleston and so on trainer Narayan Singh friends won the South India Oaks through GOG in Chennai owned by Mr Guman Singh and it was ridden by jockey Christy Roach so friends Christy Roach scoring for him once again in a big event here you can see on your pictures It was a nail biting finish and Christy Roach managed to guide GOG to a thrilling victory in the South India Oaks of 1975 1976 combining effectively with the veteran champion rider M Jagdish trainer Narayan Singh settled several winners under this champion rider in his lifetime he also successfully trained for almost a decade for the famous race horse owner shri r ramakrishnan in chennai he won many races for him which might be in the numbers of over a hundred as he led in many winners like yes sir honey sweet okay sir and many more other winners during the fag end of his Kaliya trainer Narayan Singh trained for Mr CJ Singh an owner from Calcutta He moved to Calcutta in the year 1992 93 and continued there till the year 1995 where he hung his boots and retired from active racing life I am proud friends that being his son friends i am proud friends i am proud his son a, his son a great trainer a son of a great trainer never got his share of never got his share of recognition, never got recognition, his share never got his share of but nonetheless, recognition but he nonetheless, made his mark he made his indian mark racing on the indian racing turf, turf his entire during his entire 40 years of a glorious career of a glorious career spanning spanning through many important many 
important distinctions. Distinctions. Thank you, friends. Thank you, friends.